let's get it. We already did two, why not three? <laughs> so right now we are on this mini project flyer game. Let's figure out how they want to get it done and we'll get it done right now. So first thing we need to do is see the sample. Sample is pretty simplistic. Let's see how it works. Oh, what's the word? What's it? Is it up? Oh, we didn't know that. All right, so basically you got some displacements. You press the up arrow key, or if you go out of bounds, it will cause it to interact that game over screen. Uh, it's not that hard to understand. All right, let's do this right quick. It's simple. All right, first thing we need is what do you want us to do? Uh, they want at least four sprites. We need a coin. We need two objects. Uh, and that's not that hard. All right, so two ways you can do this. Now, I'm pretty sure you already learned how to highlight stuff. And that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna highlight it. I'm gonna copy and paste it three times. So control C, control V, control V, control V. Right, boom, that's already it. Now, this is where you have to change stuff. So on this one right here, we're gonna call it a coin, right? Ooh, take that cap lock off. Ooh, I think I put it on. All right. Now we got our coin. Let's just copy and paste that twice. All right, we need our rock. Let's call it rock one. I put Rick. Wait a minute. <laughs> All right, so paste that and paste that. And then you can paste it and let's change one to two. Now, if you want to drag these off every time you can, that's up to you, but copy and paste is your best friend. All right, now, if you want to make it look more appealing for your, whoever is teaching you, or you just want to learn how to use comments, again, copy and, let's go ahead and grab a comment right quick. And on this one, we're going to call it a coin, of course. Uh, and then on this one, we'll call it the obstacles, which is fine. All right. Cool beans. All right, so now that we have those things, we gotta go ahead and put them in the right location. So right now, they're right here. And I don't think it does, does it matter right now? Where they at? No. I don't think it matter right now. All right, uh, what's the next thing they want? I'll place them off the screen. All right, so right now, when we look at this example, you have one that is at a basically a minus X for rock two. So I'll put that one off the screen as negative 200. And we need a negative number to take this off the screen as well. So I'll take that negative 200 as well. All right, so our rock one is gonna be up here. This one's gonna be there. And then obviously we need this, we'll just put this at 200 because we wanna see it. So let's go ahead and rerun it. Oh, we gotta change it. So Flybot, let's change that to a coin. This rock and then this rock. I meant to do that earlier. All right, so we should have our setup down pack. Boom, perfect. I, I'm trying to tell you, copy and paste. It's gonna help y'all. I got you back. All right. So we got our uh, thing, we set it up, we put them off the screen. Anything else we need to do? I think that, I think that's, I think that's it. Um, all right, let's go to our next one. All right, next one. All right, next one. What they want to what they want to happen? Uh, if the user doesn't key press any key, obviously it'll fall down. So let's see. But one, it's not falling down because we don't have anything to make it fall. So where's our counter pad? Counter pattern. Thank you. Uh, let's go ahead and get our velocity. Let's go ahead and name it player. 
let's just put it at one. It's got to be positive because the number's going down in the positive. So here we go. <laughs> I guess if you want to make the game a little bit more interesting, let's put it at three. Wow. What's there? Is that five? Good gracious. That joint's zooming down there. I'm going to do four. That's enough. All right. Well, not really. All right. All right. Anyway, so that's all you got to do. All right. That's good enough. All right. Next one. Oh, never mind. I will. I mean, I guess I could put, I mean, it doesn't matter, but I'll do it there. All right. So falling, uh, we have our number. Um, now I guess I'll do it right for y'all. Just so you can, because if your teacher see it, they, or whoever teaching you this is going to see it, they're going to probably get mad. All right, so boom, boom, and let's give it there, the one. All right, boom, all right, there we go. All right, the reason why I'm doing that is because we just learned about counter patterns, so I'd rather just do it the way they, that you need. All right, so we got that down pat. The only thing that we don't have is the rocks. So let's go ahead and put a, a rock on there. And just, oh, that's fine. I think I'll probably want that too. Right, let me scroll back up. So the one that's going down, we gotta get that at velocity. And then let's just make it, let's just make it two. Highlight it, copy and paste it. No, because it'll be an X, never mind. Uh, let's get that at uh, the rock. Let's give that two as well. And one thing that I I just saw that I feel like somebody's gonna say is we need to make sure it start off with something. So I'm just gonna make sure to do that just for a purpose. So let's look. Where's our rocket? Let's get this up a little bit faster. Negative. Change to eight. Let's see if that works. All right, there we go. All right, cool beans. So we got our, we got it we got it we got them coming in. It's just the fact that they're so far away. That's why. All right, next thing we need is. What's next thing? Uh, next thing we need is an arrow key to make it go up. So let's get our condition statement. Um, arrow key, arrow key. If, uh, I don't know what they want as far as arrow keys are concerned. Yeah, I figured out, whatever, anyway. Okay, if we are key down, key up, and obviously at that point, get a velocity of the player and jack it up. Uh, for those like what is looping we'll get to that um basically looping is just all right so let's just test that out all right beautiful all right all right next one is we can just copy this because it's gonna be the same thing paste it the only difference is um the only difference is what we're gonna add to it so let's take this out the velocity X. Uh, go ahead and get our player again. And then this is the way they want y'all to do it. I'm just going to be honest. I want y'all to get a plus sign, put it over here, get a 
another player X. And then I guess uh, I'm gonna put 0.5 because I want mine to move. I'm a gamer. That's like, all right, so that's going, that would be going to the right actually. And because of why the negative one's going to the left. All right, put that over here. Left, and then let's put a minus, um, minus one. All right, so let's try it. Pretty easy stuff. All right, what else needs to be done? I think that's it. We got all the arrow keys working the way they need to work. So our player, player control is on point. All right, cool things. Next. All right, next thing they want us to do is for this one. What do you want to happen? Did I do that? I thought I did. Oh, I jumped. I think I jumped ahead. My bad. Whoops. <laughs> Whatever. But at least I got it. Look at that. We did four and five at one time. That's not bad. All right, we did that part. All right, good. All right, next. <laughs> yeah, way to. Get, I mean, I tried to tell you. All right, what are we doing on this one? On this one, we gotta make a loop. All right, cool. And they want the random right there. That's fine. So looping it, let's loopy loop, loopy loop, loop. All right, so how does it work? If let's drag it on the screen. All right, so if now this is where we get your greater than or less than. So if it's, I think I want to say both of them be greater. If it's greater than, and we'll just put 450. Uh, the sprite X. And which one's going to the right? I want to say it's the uh, it's rock two. Should put rock X. You have to worry about it, but whatever. Uh, if rock two two is greater than this, then we want to reset it. The X to a negative number, of course. I'll do negative 50 for, for time purposes. And we wanna give it a random number so it can kinda of go any place on the Y. That's pretty much it. I'll be completely honest at that point. <laughs> and I'm at the random number. And so I think they said, I think they said uh, 50 and then the other one is 350. All right, the only thing you're doing with this one is you're taking it out for the Y. All of rock one. And then obviously you made the Y at negative 50. Uh, it's not gonna work, I know, because they don't have that one. All right, so let's, let's look at this right quick. You're gonna see it keep going like a different one each time. And we did our job. Pretty simple stuff, right? Anything else we need? I think that's it. I think the only thing left is just the displacement and then the score, of course. Oh, they only have a score in this game, so it's actually going to be easier. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so let's go ahead and get this coin. All right, so they want to reset the coin. So in this case, let's get our if statement. So if Sprite is touching, so if the player is touching the coin, of course, Basically, what you want to do is just get a coin a different location. I mean, it's pretty simple. So again, X, 
Why? Of the coin, of course, because you don't want to give a player a different location. That'd be awkward. Random number. I'm going to leave one there. Uh, I kind of want to see the coin. I'm going to do 380. Now, some people are going to have uh, 400. That's fine. It's up to you how you want to do it. So. All right. Ooh, tough game right there. I ain't going to lie. Kind of tough. <laughs> All right. Last but not least, what's the last thing they want you to do? All right. Hello. All right. We good. All right. So, um, what's the only thing missing right now? Um, the only thing that's missing is I want to say a collision. Which one was the collision? Was it seven? Oh yeah, yeah. Trying to make a move on. All right, cool. All right, so that's the only one uh, that I didn't add. That's my fault. All right, so with collision, this place you just want to displace. That's all you want to do is displace. So you got two displacement. Once for the rock. One for the rock one, one for the rock two. It don't matter which one it is. It's gonna start out that way. You gotta make sure it's the rock and not the um, player. Cause if it's the player, then it's gonna move the rock. You don't want that to happen. All right. And that's it. I mean, that's, oh, hold on right quick. Start over. Oh, wow. And you have your game. Dad, I'm losing that right now. Boom, 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 boom. Oh. Oh, yeah, and that's a fly game. That's how you do it. Pretty simplistic stuff. Not too hard. Not too hard at all. Okay. Uh, thank you for allowing me to serve you. We'll come back with less than 24 for us, but 25 for them because y'all remember Scrambo. Later days.